Okay, you guys, today we're gonna spill some tea. But not really, because this is new and I really wanna drink it. Hi friends, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel, Grace with Books. Today I am so excited because I'm gonna be giving you guys all of my unpopular bookish opinions. We all have unpopular bookish opinions, whether it's like you didn't like a book that's widely appreciated, you liked one of the Harry Potter movies better than the book, I don't know. You know what they are, it's fine. Today I have written down some of my unpopular bookish opinions and I'm going to share them with you. I am all ready. I have my tea with my little sloth to Diffuser. Look how cute he is. And today I am drinking the Lyra Mermaid Tea from the Tea Leaf Company that I got in my June Fairy Loot box. So that's strawberry and kiwi tea. Super excited about it. Before we start, I want to encourage you to put your own unpopular bookish opinions in the comments so we can all judge you. Just kidding. I'm curious though to see what are your unpopular bookish opinions as I'm about to share with you mine. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. I thought I'd start off pretty easy with I did not like the Shatter Me books. I read the first one, it was like okay, and I was curious to see what would happen next, so I picked up the second book, I DNF'd it. I was so annoyed by the characters, like I feel like they had just taken such a turn from the last book. I put the story down and then about a month ago I decided to try it again and I couldn't even make it through the first book again. So I thought the characters were one dimensional, I thought it just wasn't the story for me. I didn't think I liked how it was written and I didn't like personality change in some of the characters. So did not like those books at all. My next unpopular bookish opinion is Twilight is not a love triangle. I have been fought hard on this, but I stay true to my beliefs that it is not a love triangle. A love triangle is where you think the both of the suitors have an equal chance. They did not. If you were on Team Jacob, like, I'm sorry, you had to know that wasn't gonna happen. It's just a sad thing. But it's not a triangle. It is more like a line and then way over there is like a dot that is Jacob. But since she did not give both guys an equal chance because when she was with Jacob in New Moon, she was still pining for Edward, I cannot in good conscience say that is a love triangle. So I've gotten a lot of crap for that. I really have, but that is my belief that love triangles are should be equal and Twilight simply was not. So there you go. Twilight, not a love triangle. The third one, it was hard for me to accept, but I did and I honestly feel better for it. I liked the Pretty Little Liars TV show way better than the books. That is the only time you will ever hear me say that I liked a form of television or movie better than I liked the books, but that's true. The first book in, in the Pretty Little Liars series by Sarah Shepard was fine, it was okay, but you know, after 18 books in a series, it gets a little old and the characters start becoming more and more annoying and honestly after the third book I was sort of done. I read all 18 of them when I was like middle school, high school and it just went in such a strange direction. I liked the direction they took the TV show in so much better. I thought they were really smart about the mystery. I thought it was just better entertainment. The characters were compelling. I wanted to see how their stories would play out. Even though they were these liars, I wanted to root for them. I did not want to root for the people in the books. Like characters you loved in like the first three books totally were horrible in like later books. It was just so confusing keeping 18 books straight. It should have ended much earlier. I just got so tired of the books, but the TV show constantly kept my interest, therefore making it probably one of my favorite things. And there you have it, just that I preferred the Pretty Little Liars TV show over the books. And I did really try, I really did try. My fourth unpopular opinion, I'm not really sure is like a totally unpopular opinion because I've met people who think the same as me, but there's a lot of people out there who think the opposite. And that is that I liked the Court of Thorns and Roses series much better than Throne of Glass. Maybe it was because I read them first, I don't know, but with Throne of Glass, like I didn't, I, even, I haven't even finished the series yet. I still have to read Kingdom of Ash, which I have. I don't know, like I, I much preferred the shorter Akatar trilogy. I thought it was much easier to understand. I was so involved with the characters. I read through it so quickly. I loved it so much. I ate up the books, but with Throne of Glass it being a longer, more serious commitment of a book series, I still have not finished it. So I don't know. I just liked the character development and the storyline overall in Court of Thorns and Roses better. I just... 
I don't know, I loved it. But that doesn't mean I don't like Throne of Glass because I do, I relate too hard to Aelin, but I just like A Court of Thorns and Roses more. My last unpopular bookish opinion, it took me a while to accept myself. I tried to convince myself otherwise for the longest time, but in the end, I knew. I preferred paperbacks over hardbacks. I know, it's crazy, it's crazy. Yes, hardbacks are beautiful. Yes, they're gorgeous to look at, and it's fun to see if there's stuff inside the sleeve, but I find them so much more difficult to read. I hate having to take off the sleeve and put it back on every time because it gets in the way when I'm reading. I much prefer just being able to open up a paperback, and honestly, they're cheaper. I have more of them because, you know, less money. So overall, I just so much prefer paperbacks to hardbacks, and I really tried to like say like, nope, I like hardbacks, hardbacks are, they're pretty and they're nice and a lot of people like them, but that's just not me, and I prefer paperbacks. And those are my five unpopular bookish opinions. Do you agree with any of them? Do you think I'm crazy? I think I'm crazy, honestly. Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your unpopular bookish opinions. And that is all I have for you guys today. I'm wearing my Sassanac shirt. If you were wondering, I'm wearing my put on a kilt and call me Sassanac shirt. I don't know why I wanted to point that out now, but I do because I forgot to earlier. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and tell your friends or don't tell your friends or I don't know. I'm here every Monday and Thursday, so I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.